this board did meet in executive session on Thursday, August 15th, and also met this morning um, at 7.30 to discuss personnel issues. Um, and, again, and now, before we stand and salute our, our flag, I'd ask that we would all stand and just take a moment of silence to pause for the sudden passing of Donna Bella Hill. Special official action meeting. This meeting is being videotaped for community cable channels. Individuals attending this meeting and intending to speak to the board should be aware that they are being videotaped. In order to meet the requirements of Pennsylvania Sunshine Law, it is necessary to record the names of all citizens who speak to the board during the meeting. To assure compliance with this requirement, it is essential that those planning to address the board come to the microphone and state their name and address. Members of the audience are asked to limit their questions and comments to no more than three minutes. This limit will permit time for all of those who wish to speak to the board. Whenever members of the audience exceed this time limit, the board president may ask the individual to yield the microphone to the next speaker. I'd ask all to, you all to turn to the next page. You'll see that it is an addendum to the action agenda, so let's keep turning and get back to page BA1. Item number one is to recommend approval of the minutes of the, let's see if we can try to put all these together, the 720th, 721st, 722nd meeting, item number one. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion made by Mr. Mosey, second by Mrs. Mangle. Questions or comments on the meetings, on the minutes to the meetings? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> motion carries. Okay, item number two is a Pendale report update. Mr. Wood. Yes, uh, barring uh, any unforeseen bad weather this week, we, uh, we will be hosting teachers on the third, students on the fourth, with a seventh grade tour primarily or orientation, and then we will have students on the fifth. We are going to have some areas that, that are unfinished, uh, but yet as I pointed out in the memo I sent you, there are no safety issues. We, uh, at 2 o'clock next Tuesday, we will have Mr. Dabler and, and Mr. Padone. They were with us yesterday briefly and realized that it was a tad early to take a look for a final and said that once again the magician would probably come through. Quite frankly, the magician is running out of tricks. Uh, <laughs> this has been a tough, tough project. It was very ambitious for what we've done, but we do have a we do have a good comfort level for where we'll be for the opening of, for kids. We'll have some floor covering that won't be done. I guess in the past I was just used to people working the way we work through weekends and so forth. And this past weekend we just didn't have floor covering people and so forth. So they're going to have to come back and, and do what has to be done. But if that's our major problem why I have a good comfort level. Don has a good comfort level. Don has has just been outstanding in cooperating with the whole process. So we uh, we're pulling hard today to get the teacher staff parking lot together. It won't be overpaved, but we will have parking spaces and we will continue to uh, move ahead with our site work. It has not been a pretty summer as you know from a weather standpoint. And the problem is if it rains Monday, we can't go back to work typically on Tuesday because it's just not dry enough. But we're gonna get there. It's been a short summer, it's been a tough summer. And quite frankly, I, I commend you folks for doing a standalone at the high school. I, I don't know that I wanna go through another occupied building situation. It's, it's tough, it's tough. But uh, we encourage any of you, if you, wanna, if you wanna come over toward the end of the week and, and take a look, Things just fall together very quickly at this, this point in the project because our people have been working very, very hard. We had 12 of our employees on, on Saturday. We had 12 on Sunday. 
it would appear as though we have 15 people uh, from our staff lined up for uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of next week. And that's a key in moving things back in, putting classrooms together, pulling trailers from Penbrook that have classroom furniture in and unloading them and, and washing the furniture and, and that type of thing. But it's, it's been a tough one. And I think in the final analysis, we will all agree that it's certainly uh, well done. It's certainly an asset to the school community. And uh, we will be going into the auditorium. The auditorium will be shut down for a while. Those of you that remember when we had to scaffold North Penn High School to the asbestos abatement, scaffolding an auditorium is a major process. So we're looking to have the auditorium back online, hopefully by about December. The air conditioning is in there. Much of the work has been done, but our major is to get to that ceiling, which is just so time consuming. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wood. And I want to add uh, that uh, it's a remarkable project in that, uh, in my experience, I would have thought uh, uh, we would have given three summers instead of two summers to do this project plus two full school years. So it's an ambitious undertaking and uh, bringing it in on schedule will be nothing short of a modern miracle. Or you would be congratulated if, if, in fact, uh, you're, you're going to uh, be a miracle man all over again. So. Art, I'm intrigued by the remark that you made that there are people that, uh, or contractors or workmen, that uh, did not work, quote, the way we used to, through weekends, et cetera, et cetera. In other words, being able to meet the crunch. And uh, I think as we look at uh, the high school building project ahead of us, that you keep a list of who they are. Uh, we keep a lot of bellies full in this community to certain contractors and subcontractors for work. And if they uh, aren't willing, to go the extra mile to help us meet our needs, which are basically meeting the needs of students, then they will be remembered. And they come up again for more work around here, we're going to remember their work habits and their inability to help us meet needs. We did, Donna, have quite a few outside employees over the weekend, but the floor covering people have just, and I think one of the <coughs> things that happened in this whole process, when you look at Wissahickon and you look at the proposed Mifactin job, basically on the same size building, they're talking 30 to 32 million. Right. We're at 15, and I think right now our contractors are very tight financially on this particular project, and if they do come in, it's time and a half. So we have a lot of that. We've had uh, every weekend we've had mm -hmm. probably uh, 12, 15 people from the outside world working. But this weekend we had about seven rooms ready to be carpeted, and it didn't happen. So we're going to not have carpet on the floor. And that, I mean, as long as the floor is, is wet mopped and clean, they're going to have to come back and, and move the furniture out at 3 o'clock, put the carpet down, and move it back in at midnight so we're ready for school the next day. Well, they built their opportunity. They built, uh, I think, blew their chance to do I some relationship your, building. your comment, and I certainly okay. will take that under advisement. Thank I you. Have, I have a question, Mr. Clemens, uh, and, and to you, Art. Again, I, I think I appreciate the, uh, the uh, sheet that you gave us. It gives us a, an overview of what's going on. I appreciate that. Uh, one question where you mentioned we've been working extended days and weekends throughout the summer. Are we as a district looking at any overtime pay? Yeah, we're looking at overtime pay for our people, but we always do when we occupy a new building. This mm -hmm. is not unlike occupying modulars. It's not unlike a Bridal um, or a Walton or Gwinnett Square. We need to come in and do the things that have to be done, and you, that's not part of the contract. I mean, for an example, we're moving teachers today from book and field, lots of them, and many, many books that will be coming over to accommodate 7th uh, and 8th grade kids. That's on us, and, and there is overtime. But we've stayed, we've been able to stay typically within our budget <coughs> for overtime. And uh, it's just a fact of life when you open a new building. Are we looking at a sizable amount here? Probably. I mean, I don't know the exact dollar amount, but it's it's just tough getting people. We called 120 people last week to get 12 on the weekend. So, I, I mean, my, my hat is off to those folks that were willing to come in. But it's either do it that way or contract with someone to do it. I mean, you could go to a, to a moving firm, have them move you. We just do it in-house, and we'd rather do it in-house. It's less expensive. Thank you. I have a long memory. Uh, Mr. Clemens, would this be a, an appropriate time to ask Art just to update us um, quickly on the movable partition delivery dates? As we speak, uh, movable partition uh, framework, actually the structural steel 
and the track is going in, and that's the disruptive piece. The panels then come in and the trolleys go on the track. Uh, we're looking for shipment the 6th of September. So we will open, I've had the conversation with Judy, I mean these classes have been sharing a classroom all these years, so if, if we miss it by, uh, okay. by two or three weeks, we still have a comfort level. I was just disappointed that it wasn't until this past Friday that the structural steel and the track work started. Yeah, I'm but a little disappointed too since we had this discussion many, many well, months ago to do this. It's one of those things with Modern Fold, there are two, basically two good suppliers. Mm -hmm. Huffcore and Modernful, and they just are so oversubscribed. And I, uh, we had a completion date of August 9th in our spec, but we didn't have liquidated damages, and we don't do that. I've shared with the board before the fact that liquidated damages, unless you're going to give an incentive for early completion, you can't penalize people with liquidated damages. I mean, if we're going to say, look, there's a 20% incentive if you finish within five weeks or whatever, that's fine, but you can't come back then and penalize them. So I'm not. Really, knowing modern full, and I know Bill has had a lot of experience with these folding partition people, to, to have a ship date on September 6th, mm -hmm. considering we only awarded, I guess, in May, um, that's not bad. I, I would say to the, to the board, and, and I really and truly mean this, everyone is vying for the same type of material throughout the whole southeastern Pennsylvania area and throughout the state. And I think that should send us a message. If we're going to do anything for next September, folks, we need to move this September or we're not going to make it. I mean, that's how bad it is, whether it's modulars, whatever the case may be. Most people now, and architects are now extending six and eight months beyond previous finish dates because of the, the bind. These people downsize. Locker people stop making lockers. Marker board people cut their production in half. Now all of a sudden they're in and and they, they can't deal with it. And we're all looking for the same material, science equipment, science lab, uh, furniture, and, and so forth. And it's a real problem. Okay. Any more questions on Pendale report for Art? Yeah. Okay, we'll move on to item number three, our audience of citizens. <coughs> Any questions or comments from our audience? Okay, thank you very much. We'll now move on to item number four, superintendent's report. I uh, would recommend and point the uh, board's attention to page, uh, or item BA12, uh, the substitute uh, pay scale for the new school year for all groups uh, of uh, employees whose absence uh, causes us to hire a substitute and recommend that the board adopt that uh, pay, pay scale effective for the first of the school year. So, so moved. Second. The motion made by Mr. Mosey, second by Ms. Mangle. Questions or comments on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. The next recommendation has to do with an annual uh, approach to you asking for you to approve uh, the uh, traditional way of gathering information about uh, school children, names, addresses, uh, telephone Just numbers, good. that sort of data uh, for uh, school use uh, and um, uh, certain publications uh, such as uh, honor rolls, et cetera, in accordance with uh, the board's two policies and effective for the 96-97 school year. So moved. Okay. Second. But there's a motion made by Mrs. Mangle, second by Mr. Mosey, but I believe that's on item 4C. C, that's what I thought, yeah. We skipped B. I skipped B. Yeah, <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and vote on, on 4C. We'll come back. I'll remember to go back. <laughs> there's been a motion and a second. Any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> Thank motion you. carries. Back to item 4B. This is a recommendation to approve uh, uh, the usual uh, tuition uh, waiver for students uh, whose names are on file in uh, Mrs. Miller's office. And these are kids who are moving uh, to uh, North Penn, uh, whose residence hasn't changed yet. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Mosey. Second. Second by Mr. Allen. Questions or comments on 4B? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Actually, recommend that you approve a contract with the Easter, Easter Seal uh, Society to provide certain services for handicapped children. 
Motion made by Mr. Hill. Second. Second by Mrs. Krieger. Questions or comments? Question, well, Mr. Clemens, if I may. Sure. Um, Judy, um, hundred thousand dollars. Yes. How many children are we talking about? We have two hundred and two students total. One hundred and forty receive occupational therapy. Fifty-five receive physical therapy, and there are seven children classified under Chapter 15, which is protected handicapped. What was what was the physical therapy? I'm sorry. How physical many? therapy 55. was fifty-five. Thank you. That's as of today. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. E is a recommendation to approve a contract with Lakeside Alternative School uh, to hold 30 uh, slots for us. This is a school uh, that serves children uh, who need an alternative placement to the regular school setting. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Allen, second by Mrs. Krieger. Questions or comments on item 4E? I have yes. a comment, Mr. Yeah, I have a question also when you're finished. Mr. Sure. Um, this area comes up every year, and this year I, I say <coughs> the same thing every single year, but I'd like to say this now knowing that I have a majority behind me. We have to take this piece and bring it home. There, I, uh, I see that each one of these students are costing us 12240 bucks a piece. That's pretty steep private school tuition in this area. Uh, Mr. Jordan, President of the Union, and I agree on very few things. This he and I agree on. He's smiling, thank God. He and I agree that there are enough people on this board and within his bargaining unit that have interest in bringing this home. Many of us have uh, great experience in the area of uh, these special needs. Uh, alternative schools. Many of us have worked in alternative schools, know what they're about, and know that they're not as big a hairball as people want to make them out to be. Um, I know that space has always been a problem here, but we're looking to alleviate that space. Nothing is stopping us from leasing space as companies keep going down in this area. And I am imploring for the last time um, that uh, Superintendent Bowes would put together a task force that uh, Mr. Jordan and I would be on two of many people, I hope, to work on this as an idea or a project. We've brought home other special groupings, and this is an area that keeps getting um, larger and larger, yeah, not only in student population, but in costs. And um, I know we can handle it. I know we have staff now, teachers now, that are suited for teaching these type of kids that could be pulled for that type of work. Mr. So, Mrs. Mabel, if that uh, um, was a motion, for the formation of that task force to give that proper direction, I would gladly second it because I agree with you very much. Yeah, well, we could bring that up under other. I, I will bring that up under other business. business. I will make that a motion that a task force be we'll put create. together right. and that Mr. Jordan and I be allowed to chair that as a joint effort. I would second that motion. Well, we, have to wait, we bring it up. The only comment okay. I wanted to make is, is I, I, I agree with Mrs. Mengo. We're spending an average of something like $7,800 a student mm -hmm. correct, for regular, you know, correct. normal education. 12000 for 30, 30 children. I mean, that is just, that to me is prohibitive. And we don't, and I've never seen what we get for that service. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we have children that, that, you know, come from homes where there's problems and so forth, and, and that can be a, a terrible hardship on Mr. a child. But I just think that. I'd like to see what we're getting for $367,000. Mr. Mosey. Well, Mr. Mosey, I, I would tell you that it, it's been something that we have wanted to do, and we have done I know you mentioned it before, uh, yes. It, it would be yes. my pleasure to bring these kids back home here and have a program in-house for them. I know that we could do it. Uh, we just found out that the state is releasing funds for people who are starting their own alternative programs, so there's a money source for us. Mm -hmm. That's brand new this mm -hmm. year. So I think it's something that we really do need to do. Yeah. It would be actually much easier to manage if we had these students within our, within our own province here. Right. So Transportation alone. Transportation, Transportation alone. Right. Plus, if there were enough spots, it could have there's the opportunity here to raise funds, be a small profit center, if it's going to be run as a tuition school. It also would give us an option. If we're talking about 30 students here. Right. We have a lot more than 30 students that need additional help. We have an option here to move kids in and out more quickly than we're able to do when you're going from an institution to another institution. Mm -hmm. Judy, could we set up our own 
are we required by state as to what kind of a program we set up, or is it just that we send these children to Lakeside because they already have a program in existence? It's really wide open. Um, you don't actually need to conform to the Chapter 5 regulations for this particular program. They can be waived, so there's lots of different things that you can so do. So we have flexibility here. Put in a counseling component, which many of these students really do need. I, I, I agree with Mrs. Krieger um, and Donna. I, I think it's something that we should we'll bring up, bring on, it other up on other business. Other business. Yes. Okay. I think okay. it's time to look at it. Good. More questions or comments? I just have a question. Um, on this uh, contract, the, the price, where does the uh, busing fall, or does that? It's included. That is included. That's included. And that, is that in part of the contract? I, I just looked no, at it. No, it's just been included every year. We okay. have not bused for Lakeside for a long time. Okay. It's really difficult right. to do that with some of those students. So they have absorbed those costs within the twelve thousand dollar tuition. I'm not absorbing it. They're 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 charging us for. They're charging it. Us on their terms. Right. Yeah. On their right. terms. On their gas. Right. <laughs> right. But we. But do it's not a separate item. As right. Right. In the right. Past. It's not. But right. we do right. send special needs children to other uh, mm -hmm. oh, yes. places of education where we you know we pay that at that busing usually. Right. We we have about ten other students that are placed in other alternative schools, but the difference is, those particular schools have not gone to a contract basis okay. with us. It's more of a handshake type of deal. But now, Judy, um, you're prepared, though, in this in this present school year, to be able to bring back to the board uh, a report about us doing that. If this were to be oh, absolutely okay, it's something that we want to do by next budget. Right. If, by next, if it can be done, budget. if it can be done, by Judy, next you budget. mentioned a problem doing it for this year's budget, but because of the right. Well, we had done. You know, I didn't want you to think we hadn't done some preliminary work because we had gone out, we had looked at some sites, we had one that was you a potential. It right. fell through, mm -hmm. so there has been some groundwork laid. This is not something new. I, I think we're all on the same wavelength with this. We want to bring these kids home. Right. You you mentioned state funds are new, going to be are available now. Brand new. How? Any figure on that, or is no, it determined? No, it's wide open. I mean, this is something they're pouring money into, which is, is time for us to jump on this. In other words, if we say we need a, need a quarter million dollars, there's a well, good possibility we might get that. <laughs> you never know. I mean, they, they have a oh, large God. amount put in their budgets for this. We have to look at this. Yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah. Time is right. Any there's more questions or comments? No. Call for the question. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The next recommendation uh, seeks your approval for the early admission of kindergarten and first grade students whose names again are on file for confidentiality purposes <coughs> for uh, early uh, admittance uh, and uh, that would become of course effective with the uh, current next school year. Second. second. Motion made by Mrs. Krieger, second by Mr. Mosey. Questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, recommendation G, uh, request your approval for the following uh, part-time uh, education, community education staff and salaries as noted and listed in the recommendation. So moved. Motion made by Mr. Mosey. Is that a second, Ms. Krieger? No, it isn't. Uh, motion, Sorry. Motion made by Mr. Mosey. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Allen. Questions or comments? Uh, yes, Mr. Clemens, I have uh, some comments about this. Uh, I will not be supporting the motion on the floor today for a variety of reasons, but um, I have uh, some questions, and I, I guess they would be for either Dr. Bose or, or Mr. Weir in regards to these positions that are listed here. Um, I have always been under the impression that the community education department, for the most part, paid for itself. Uh, through its tuition program uh, for, the, for the different uh, uh, activities and programs that uh, they offer. Now I see a list of set, uh, staff and salaries, um, and the salaries, Mr. Clemens, I, I, I don't know how anybody else feels, but I believe for the amount of information we've been provided at this point, <coughs> I don't know how many, how many total uh, positions are required here and when did we start doing this we have always done this well I, we have always done I don't this. feel comfortable in supporting this because I don't know the total number of um, positions that you're asking for here uh, I don't have a list of any of the individuals who are being um, suggested for these jobs or their qualifications and 
I think that the uh, salaries that are being asking uh, asked for here are are exorbitant. For the you know, I don't know how anybody else feels, but I won't be supporting the motion on the floor. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, the gymnastics program supervisor is the individual responsible for the creation and the management of the program under the supervision of the community education office. That's one individual. The aquatic program supervisor, similarly, is the person responsible for the creation and management of the entire program. The 24 hour rate is the rate of the contract for such work. We follow the contract rate. We have believe, contracts with these individuals? No, the NPA. We follow the guidelines of the NPA that's contract. The, that's the extra duty in that role. Are these teachers that are doing these Yes. Jobs? Mm -hmm. Mr. George Kaufman, a phys ed teacher, is the gymnastics program supervisor, and he is paid the rate as specified by the NPA contract. You're correct when you say that we generate the funds to meet these salaries, and that is true. We do. The aquatic program supervisor is Rick Carroll, phys ed teacher in the high school, our former swim coach, and he's the person that created the program and continues to manage the program. He created the program when we opened the pool in 1971. He continues to be the manager of the program. Mr. Kaufman is responsible for gathering together the assistance that he needs <coughs> to manage his program. Mr. Carroll uh, recruits the people he needs for his program. Certainly lists of people can be made available. It has not been our custom to bring them to the board. We have never brought lists well, to the, the board. Way that this board has asked, you know, right along. I mean, we've asked for um, a, a difference in, in reporting to the board on the professional staff's qualifications. And Mrs. Uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Miller has um, been very diligent about that. And I, I can uh, name numerous times when this board has asked for um, background information to the things that you're asking us um, to approve, especially when there's quite a bit of money uh, involved, which this looks like to me, uh, it ends up running. Um, I'm sure that this, mo is this money, has this money already been budgeted for? Or is this yes, different? there's, you understand that we will sell courses to get all this money. So it is self-sustaining. It's self-sustaining. Oh, you understand that the gymnastics program, people will pay a registration fee. The swimming program, people will pay a registration fee. And all of that income will be used, but it is part of the general fund budget. You will find in your general fund budget income from community ed and expenses from community ed. So and these, of the course, are all part-time, hourly, I would call them casual employees. Kenny, how many people would be to top of your head talking about? 15, 20 people? Oh, employees? No, no. These, these people well, some of these people work ma many hours mm -hmm. in a year, and some of these people work relatively few hours in a year. I would imagine that the list for aquatics would be two or three times as long as the list for gymnastics. And uh, I wouldn't guess without, I didn't bring the list with me. I'd budget? say we have about, how, how, about how, 70 employees. How much do we budget for this? About 320000 I think we budgeted as both income and expense. I can interject to the board that in my five years here, the program has ranged from a high of about an $8,000 profit to a low of about $2,000 profit, but it has been self-sustaining at least during my tenure here. At always, in the black. Well, it's if, always been in the black. If, if it's going to be self-sustaining, then I don't understand why we have to even approve this. Yeah. Well, that's, that's in order to in order to pay, we pay the people through the payroll. In order to pay them through the payroll, that you have to approve the the salary, the amount of the salary, and the position. Okay, but what you're sense. saying is that three hundred twenty thousand does not come out of it does not. our money. This is self sustaining. That's correct. It it's doesn't in, come out of what we tax the general. Right, that's right. what I'm asking. It, it does not. It, it, right. For example, is person comes in, registers their child for a swimming program. Mm -hmm. That money goes in, I believe goes in, will end up in the general fund. That's correct. That's why we have a line, it's budgeted, it, it's budgeted there, but it is, it's kind of like the food what we're, program. What we're exactly, really, what it's we're like really, the food program. What we're no, really doing then is we're just authorizing you to spend that money is what we're doing. I would I would differ in that the food program is a separate account. Well, it's a separate account. Community Whereas education community is program, part, but it is self-sustaining. Does not have a separate account. It's part of the general fund. All deposits, all controls, all managements are with Mr. Kelly, the business office, as as the mat of the, the keeper of the funds. So, so we're really going through a procedure then to authorize him to spend this money is what we're doing. 
Beg That's your pardon, correct. Mr. Mm -hmm. What we're really doing is authorizing Mr. Kelly to spend this money. Establishing the rates. The rates right. of six to right. twenty dollars an hour, the twenty dollar an hour rate and the six to twenty dollar an hour rate have not changed. They're the same rates we've asked you to approve for the last couple of years. Okay. Okay, now Mr. Weir, I just have a couple more questions. Are there any new positions within this compared to last year? Are we different people or different positions? Any new positions, any new positions. I mean, there will be an increase in the positions available under this. There will always be new people. Positions such as lifeguard, locker room aid, people okay. helping with gymnastics, we don't, the positions are the same every year. Okay, so they're not, there's no increase in staff. There will be an increase in staff if Depending enrollment requires. Enrollment, right? If we add swimming classes, we'll need more lifeguards. Our right. kids signed up for swimming right. last year. 150 signed up this year. <coughs> You're need a few throughout more the year, teachers. throughout the year, we may find that we need several more lifeguards than we needed the prior year, depending upon enrollment. I, I, I guess I'm just really, in, you know, curious and interested to see how how we do with our community education. Um, uh, program and it's difficult um, to do that when it all goes into the general fund and for comparative purposes like Dennis has said he's seen the profit as high as eight, eight what'd you say 8,000 8, a year mm -hmm. and as low as 2,000 as a board member I'd kind of like to to get a better picture of how we're doing in mm -hmm. community education sometimes you know I've heard people saying gee you don't offer you know such and such um, to me and as a board member that concerns me that you know, I'd like to see what programs that we're offering that are success successful, and I don't think there's. Um, I, I'd like the board to take a look at perhaps um, doing it, doing the community uh, education uh, budget differently um, with with this upcoming budget, and and to have um, you know have you guys take a look at at the overall program and because we. I, we haven't received, since I've been sitting here, a presentation on the community education department. And I was kind of like to see that happen. Just so you know, Mrs. Krieger, that, that is relatively easy to do. Uh, Mr. Weir's program well, does, have, it does have separate line items in the budget. It's easy to, to see where what's spent on gymnastics, aquatics, all the different programs. No, I know, but it's much <clears> easier <throat> to see it as a combined unit. You know, to have to go through each. Mm -hmm. No, it's all set. It's all in one area. If you look in your budget document in the 1600 series, that's all adult education, which is uh, all Mr. Weir's program. But then, where are the salaries and things listed that we there. pay out? They're listed. They're listed there, there. too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There should be. There's a separate line item for the salary accounts. Okay, can we call right. for the questions? Yes, go ahead. Any other questions? Okay, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Motion carries. Moving on, the recommendation H is uh, the request that you approve a contract with Turning Point, which is a program uh, for drug and alcohol education, effective for, for the uh, new school year uh, at an annual rate of $62,000. So motion made by Mr. Hill. Second. Second by Mrs. Krieger. Questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. There are uh, six bids uh, recommended for your improvement, uh, your approval. On uh, They're all uh, low bid awards on the four pages commencing on page BA 13. So moved. Second. Motion made by Mr. Mosey, second by Mrs. Mangle. Questions or comments? Just a question if I can, uh, Mr. Mr. Clemens. Uh, we get these all the time where we see it's data processing supplies of four companies and we're going to spend $9,000. Music equipment, I see six companies listed, we're going to spend 23000 Is there any way that we could get a list of what we're purchasing? Certainly, Mr. Mosey. Yes. I don't, and I don't need to see who bid it. Not a, well, okay, that, does it list what we're, what we're asking the bid on? The yeah. actual bid document. Is that a long document or one page? Or? Well, if the board would well, like, like I mean, we're going to buy 25 trombones and 14 saxes and sure. so forth. If, if I'd the like board to would see like, that. we could provide you when we send out the bid award summary, we could atta do an attachment and show exactly what's being purchased if that's what the board would I would just I would just like nice. to see what we're, like data processing supplies, mm -hmm. that, that's open-ended to me. I'd like to see what we're <coughs> buying floppy disks and how many and... Sure, Just so I'll we have an idea of what we're purchasing. I'll take care of that for next month. Any other bids, you will have the bid award attached to it. Thank you. 
Okay. Any other questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Now we come to personnel, and uh, I'll remind you again of the addendum, and uh, as well as try to point out uh, those additions from the addendum uh, that are included in my recommendation. The first recommendation is to uh, uh, request your approval for the employment of 23 professional staff. Uh, this includes the addendum, uh, page BAA1, and on the um, agenda, Without the addendum, it goes to BA 5, 23 appointments. So moved. I would just point out one thing for everybody. Anywhere where it says to be determined, it should say $120 per diem on those, on those professional people. Still so moved. Second. Motion made by Mr. Allen, second by Mr. Krieger. It's, uh, questions or comments? Let's make sure we're... I just have a question. Yeah, we're going from BA to one We're going from BA to, wait. No, BAA1. BAA1. That's, That's the addendum. That's the addendum. Right? The addendum. The BA5. There are two on the addendum. And then there's BA2, 3, 4, 3 and 4, correct? 2, two 5. Okay. Right. Uh, I have a question line. in regards to the uh, uh, gentleman identified. Let's see, that would be uh, J.A. under J.A. on B.A. 3. David Caldwell, he, he's not, uh, he's declined oh. the district's offer. Okay. What page? Wait, I don't believe he's on B.A. 3. He's on B.A. 3. B.A. 3. Yes. But then we got uh, a, a memo. No, from, wait, hold on. Let's make, on B.A. 3, there's BA3. not. Yeah. We have Bot and Caldwell. You have a. You have the what? most recent oh, I'm sorry. Right. We, you received in your packet, right. I believe, He's on Friday that had Mr. Caldwell's right. name, right. and then I think we just got a packet yesterday got a correction. with the correction. Right. So today's He's not on it because he refused the So order. today's um, agenda has Mr. Caldwell's name deleted. Yeah, Are we still looking for um, <coughs> his ed teacher and, and a basketball coach? Yes, we are. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't bring it up, I was going to bring it up. Come on. What was that? Okay. Okay. More questions or comments? This is, we want to make sure everybody's clear on this. Yeah. Um, there's just one more correction, and that is on BA4. It should be the second person listed should say Daryl, not David. Garner. Yes. <laughs> Any other questions or comments? No. Just one question, if I can. Uh, this is pretty much completed now, our hiring for the beginning of the year. Yes, we. Um, we when we initiated the EIP program, um, okay. Mr. Kelly said it would be a savings of approximately $450,000 to the district. So we should be able to come here with some kind of a figure now to see what, what we're saving with yes. the time. In fact, Mr. Moses and Mr. Miller and I hope to have that in your What's Up package for this Friday, both okay. the ERIP and also the budget to actual with, with salaries. Thank you. Karen. Thank you very much. That's all, Mr. Clemens. President Clemens, I'd like to, uh, if it's possible and if it's, uh, well, if it's feasible to um, pull the uh, fifth assistant principal at the North Penn High School out of that motion and have that a separate motion. Thank you. Um, reason, uh, being, I know there's some confusion as to that fifth position. There's some discomfort with it, and also uh, my, my personal opinion is I'd like to see uh, Cotter and Hines have their house in order before we add a fifth principal to a new mix. Um, I'm not against the hiring of a, of a fifth principal, but I think at this time it's something that needs to be looked at one more time. So I won't support it as we sit here in August. Okay, so is that a you're asking if we can amend the motion or just pull it, uh, make sure I'm separated. I'd ask for some help from our solicitor on this. How, how could we go about doing that? First of all, we, we would need a vote to, uh, to find out if there are five that would want to uh, remove that from the original motion. You can, you can do one of two ways. Who made, who made the original motion? I believe Bill did, and, and so Sharice seconded. Is uh, motion amended to that extent so that they could be handled separately? What? Okay, excuse me. This is not the fifth assistant principal. Let's get some clarification. Is this, see, see, this is this is the confusion. 
Yes, according to our. Wait a minute. There are. Right. It is the let's, let's, Mr. Clemens, get the floor again. Let's get. Or before, Frank, I'm going to ask you just to um, hold with your comments for a minute. We need to get something else straightened out first. Is this the fourth or the fifth principle? The fifth. The fifth. Excuse okay. me. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, back to our solicitor. How do I? How do we handle this? There's a couple of ways you can handle it. Uh, Bill, you're willing to uh, uh, to uh, make your motion. Uh, with the deletion of that position, is that correct? Yes. And who seconded the motion? I did. Teresa, are you willing to do the same? All right, if that's the case, then the motion on the floor will be as stated with the deletion of that position, and then you can handle that separately. Be before you make the motion, may I please uh, just give you some extra information. As you might recall, this was passed in the budget, and uh, we have already made the offer to this person. Um, so we need to consider that as we work through this morning. The only other thing that I would, would recon would consider would be that we have three board members out, um, which is a considerable number to be out on a board of nine. I mean, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a third of our group. Um, if this can be delayed until all nine people are present. I know that there obviously there's confusion on this position. I mean, it's, it was evident here among the administrators, whether this was the fourth or fifth principle. Uh, no, that's all right. Um, but I think there's a... Donna, are you objecting to the person or no the, to the position? No, we, I don't even we, know this person. We voted. Now, we've approved the budget. position in the budget. Okay, so you have Correct. We now, I don't know why. But we never. So Bill, we make an issue out of it. We never really approved right. it. Let's, it was let's, we did. Hold on. Hold on a sec. We we approved. We did an additional we did. principal, or we excuse did. me, assistant no, principal. We went through that. Let's, we did. It was in the budget. Yes, it was, it was in the budget. The budget but, but we never voted on it separately. Dr. Bond. No, there's a lot of things we don't vote on separately Dr. in there. But this but is, we, hold on a sec. This is a separate issue at this point because we've separated it from the original motion. Let's get let's get the motion on all the all of the personnel, professional personnel, with the exception of Sandra Newman. When we get to her, then we'll discuss it and figure out where we're going to go from there. We do that first. I believe that's what our, what our solicitors asked us to do. That, that's correct. Okay. My motion's been amended. There's been a motion amended and sec the amendment amendment's been seconded Mr. to vote Clemens. on all personnel with the exception of it's not saying the No, it's 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 the, it's the, 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 the Oh, I'm sorry, I stand corrected. See, we don't even know the person. That's that's why the position is in question, it's not the person. Okay, I'm sorry. Judy. Mr. Clemens, just, just to let you know, the impact of this position includes some of the hiring of other people because it's sort of been a bump up, so you're going to have to exclude three positions at this point because this one has a domino effect on two others. Well, this is the last one hired. Okay, still, there's a motion on the floor that's been amended to accept or to vote on all professional staff with the exception of Patricia Krug. Is that uh, correct? Well, just a point of clarification. Judy, are, is there anybody listed in this person. motion that would be impacted by the uh, deletion of this position? <coughs> yes. Well, I think we should know who. The last, the last assistant principal to be hired is the one on the addendum. Right. That would be the fifth person. Patricia. Okay. Patri yes. She will be the fifth assistant. She would be the right. fifth. But with the deletion of that, all the rest are, are okay. All, the, re all yeah. the rest are okay. Maureen Coffey is just filling a vacancy then? Maureen Coffey was a counselor. She will now be an assistant principal, but she, she, but she was... She be the fourth. No. no. She, she's she's filling she's a vacancy Pendale. at Pendale. Oh, I'm she's sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. Right. Okay. All right. Okay, our next board, the, the board meets again what date, Mr. Clemens? Is it Six. September what? Sixth. Uh, right after Labor Day, I believe we scheduled a meeting. Third. September 3rd. You can hire everybody there. Uh, I, but we could meet an executive session. We should have, That's right. we have um, one. Excuse Thursday. me. Yeah. Excuse me. Before, I don't know what's going on here. What's new? I know. Um, but I'd still like to have this person come up for a vote today. If I amend my motion, it's un with the understanding that we're voting on that person separately because it's still on the agenda. We're not delaying it. Uh, Otherwise, I'm not going to amend the, uh, my motion. Uh, I, I did I, that for the sake of having conversation that apparently people want to have, but I still want it brought at this meeting as a motion. 
I also think we you we need to know that this person who whose appointment might be delayed uh, is employed elsewhere and what the ramifications for departing another position to accept this one uh, might have on uh, staffing the high school for the first day of school and uh, acquiring this person I think oh, by appointment. Sorry. Could you answer that? Question? Yes, the the person on the addendum, the, who is the last, the fifth would be the fifth assistant principal at the high school, uh, is currently a teacher and and is giving notice that she is leaving. So we have made the offer. I always make it very clear to everybody that the final the final offer is when the board approves. However, um, she has perhaps by this time taken action to talk with her own school about this position. It's evident to me that this board needs an executive session on this matter because it's a matter of personnel. Yes. I think we should vote for the fourth assistant principal because that position was there last year. It has always been there. The fifth principal is a new position. Yes, it was in the budget, but there are board members that felt that under the massive weight of that budget, um, this was a matter that I don't want to say slipped in, but went by with, with a positive vote on the budget. We knew, many of us knew and realized that what is in the budget doesn't necessarily have to be spent. We also know that it will come to the board for a, dis, you know, a final decision for enactment. So I'm afraid that some of this is just uh, dealing with the matter of the fifth principle is now coming to a head only because it's before this board today. I don't, I don't think it's a matter of personnel that belongs in executive session because we're not discussing the person, their qualifications, firing, or a legal matter. We're discussing a matter of, I'll use the word principle, of how we want to run the high school. And I think that's for public discussion. That's for public discussion, but I think there's mitigating circumstances that were slightly explained uh, by uh, Dr. Miller uh, that, that cause, I mean, of personal information that, that are causing some effect here. Okay, this is what we'll do. We've got to settle this. There are probably, I'll go ahead and say it, there are probably not enough votes today. Right. I mean, I, this is a personnel issue, so I believe this, we need five votes. Is that correct? Uh, Solicitor? To do a hiring, you would. To do a hiring. There need to be five votes for this individual. So, Bill, I am willing, though, to give it a try today as uh, at your request, um, but I still feel what's going to happen is we will end up discussing it in an executive session, and what may happen, have to happen is we do have a meeting scheduled for September, get this right, <coughs> September 3rd. The right the day after Labor Day, we may have to have a special action meeting that day. I don't know how else to do it. So we need the other three board members back. Tom, don't we have an executive session Thursday night? Yes. 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 Well, then couldn't we couldn't we discuss the executive session Thursday night and then take a vote on it on the third when we have a special? That's what I just said. Correct. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was you didn't mention executive session. I'm sorry. That's why. Um, I thought maybe I'd I like an opinion as to whether that is. A legitimate executive session item. Yes. It is. Yes, it is. To discuss the adding or deletion of, of something we've already approved. Yes, because you're you're discussing it and, and you have specific names attached to specific provisions, uh, specific positions, and, and you also have at this point in time, uh, based upon that position, a bearing as to what happens with other employees right. that move to other particular positions. And I think that's a personnel matter and therefore uh, legitimately okay. an executive session subject. Do we have to do an executive session? No, you are not required under the law to do the matters that are listed as permissible executive session topics in an executive session. It is permissible to do so. Okay. You're not required to do so. Thank you. Let's get back. Let's get back to the amended motion. Depending on what you're going to discuss, there there may be also some issues of, of, of privacy with respect to employees. I understand that part. Okay. Okay. The amended motion would include all professionals. Including the addendum BAA1, K, Casey Fisher. It would include, I want to make sure I'm clear, all of these individuals with the exception of Patricia Krug. Is that correct? Does everyone agree with that? Yes. Marilyn, you okay with that? I sure am. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Well, President, if, if, I, if I may speak briefly, uh, I know this uh, may be a source of. Uh, disagreement among the board members because of the way this position emerged. Uh, you all um, uh, may not, or some of you may, and that may be the origin of the disagreement, 
uh, recall that it was, in fact, considered as a part of the budget presentation. And you might remember the individual uh, recommendation was delivered by Juan Bond as, as a part of the look at additional personnel for the new school year. We have proceeded to um, um, uh, build mm -hmm. toward opening the school year with the assumption that this position would be available. It would be harmful to the operation of North Penn High School and the inaugural year of its new <coughs> principal not to have this position. I know you're going to discuss it uh, and, uh, and render a decision based upon your considered judgment. <coughs> uh, at the same time, I want you to recognize the dilemma in which this individual is placed who's been s selected uh, through uh, the uh, participation of Dr. Cotter and the assistant principals, uh, along with uh, Mrs. Miller, and whether or not this person will uh, now uh, be non-interested, uh, or uh, whether uh, there will be a problem with that person separating from another job. Uh, I know you're going to discuss it, but I wanted to say that now so you could hear my view on it. Uh, before your discussion. Thank Dr. You. Dr. Bose, it, from my standpoint, it has nothing to do with personalities. And again, I don't know uh, Patricia Krug, and I'm sure through Judy's hiring procedures, she's a very qualified lady. Um, my concern has been all along, and I agree with Mrs. Mengel. Uh, I remember Dr. Bond bringing it before us, and this is part of the problem with our budgetary process. I, I don't think that, I think there were some things that some of us uh, had questions about, and, and, and I know Dr. Bond brought it forward, and he said that he would like to have a fifth principal. And for it all of a sudden to appear in the budget, I, for one, did not, I didn't think we had a, a fair airing of that. I think that's something the board should have voted on and approved whether we wanted a fifth principal. Not to say that it isn't needed, not to say that we probably would have voted for it, but I just think that just to automatically put it in the budget through a discussion, I felt that process was incorrect. Mr. Mosey, I recognize there's an honest disagreement on how and what happened. Right. It's a good way to put it, an honest disagreement. That's that's well worded. Thank you. Let's try to take a vote. Any more questions? Because we will, again, come back to Mrs. Patricia Crew, and we will vote on her today um, separately. We are now voting on all the professional staff with the exception of Patricia Crew. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, Mr. Solicitor, do we need a, a new motion now to vote on Mrs. Patricia Krug? Yes, yeah, we need a motion to the second. Okay, is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion made by Mr. Allen, second by Mr. Hill. Okay, questions or comments on Mrs. Patricia Krug? i just like to make a comment. I, uh, I do believe when we went through the budget process, I was under the impression and fully believe that we would be hiring a fifth principal, so I will be supporting this position. Any other questions or comments? I have a, yes. Uh, I, I too remember the discussions and was under the impression we would be doing it. And I, I supported it because I think we need it. We keep adding more students to the high school and we do need more management people to take care of the, the additional students we're having. So it's not just a question of accepting what somebody told me. I believe it's the correct thing to do for the betterment of the education of the students. I knew it was happening. And for us to now, at this point, not hire this person, I, I, it's hard for me to believe that people would do this after accepting the budget, knowing it was happening. Or I knew it was happening. And I was given the same information as everybody else. I really think it's bad thing to do. I don't know how else to put it nicely. So yes, I will be supporting it. Tommy? Yes, Tom. Uh, I'm going to support the, the hiring of the assistant principal. I concur that the assistant, the assistant principal and how it got in the budget and how it got approved uh, should have been more clear and probably handled a different manner. But I think the time schedule has moved so far forward here. School starting in a week and to uh, to make this change at this time uh, and to uh, you know and I feel kind of bad for the um, the person that's made a commitment is thinking of do the job so I I think yeah we probably should have discussed this we probably should have discussed it maybe three weeks ago or a month ago and not not at this late schedule so 
I'll be supporting. Any other questions or comments? <clears throat> okay, I will make a uh, final comment before we vote. Uh, we will have an executive session on uh, what did I say here? Thursday. Thursday night, August August 29, and this issue will be discussed at that executive session. And depending on what where that discussion goes, then there may be a special action meeting that will be scheduled then for Tuesday, September 3rd, prior to the uh, work session on long range planning. What, what time is the meeting? Seven, Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock on Thursday. Any other questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Okay, we need a roll call. <clears throat> Mr. Allen? Yes. Mr. Hill? Yes. And Mrs. Krieger? No. Mrs. Mengel? No. Mr. Mosey? No. Mr. Clemens? Yes. Three, three, tie vote. Okay, open. motion fails. Okay. Is that everybody clear? Can we move on? Okay. I need to, uh, I have a meeting at 9 o'clock. I need to uh, excuse myself. I will turn the meeting over now to Mrs. Mangle. The next recommendation, continuing with personnel, is to recommend the appointment of 21 support staff. And you'll find a list of those recommendations at the bottom page, BA5 uh, to BA8. Okay. 21 people. Okay, I need a motion, please. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Hill, second. Second. Second, second by Krieger. Any comments? Just one comment, and that is that on page BA7, that the word ratify be taken out. Okay. I, I did have a question. I'm sorry, Mrs. Mingle. Um, sure. Kenneth McLaren, is that a new position? And Grace Swilock, are they both new positions? They are positions for the technology program, which were approved by the board. Are they new positions? They are. Yes, they yes. are. Yes. We also have a resignation, which impacts upon this. Yes. Any further questions to the right, to the left? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm now on page BA8 and direct your attention toward uh, approving one professional retirement resignation. So moved. Is there a second? So moved. There's a second. <laughs> Motion by Krieger, second by Allen. Questions around to the left, Mr. Mosey? No. To the right. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed would say nay. Thank you. And continuing on the bottom of page BA8, uh, there are three uh, resignations of professional staff. And at the top of page BA9, there's one additional professional staff resignation, making a total of four for your approval. So moved. Motion by Krieger, second by Mosey. Comments to the right. I don't know what side I am, but I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, I noticed a couple of these have resigned a month after they, or less after they got hired. Yes, they were hired originally as long-term subs, and they accepted contracts in other school districts. Thank you. Thanks, sir. To, the, uh, to the left, comments? All, All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed would say nay. On page BA9, then, there are seven resignations of support staff. So moved. Second. Motion by Hill, second by Mosey. Comments left? Right. All in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed would say nay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, directing your attention to page BA10, one salary correction for support staff as noted. So moved. Second. Motion by Allen, second by Mosey. Comments? All in favor would say aye. Aye. Opposed would say nay. Thank you. There are uh, four salary changes, including the one on the addendum, recommended for your approval, uh, effective with the new school year. Any so motion? Moved. Motion by Mosey. Any second? Second. Second by Krieger. Comments to the left. Right. 
All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed to say nay. Thank you. Again, directing your attention to page BA10. Uh, there are one, two, four support staff salary changes affected with the new school year. So moved. Second. Motion by Hill, second by Mosey. Comments right, Alan? Left. Uh, one question. Uh, Deborah McHugh, is that a new position? No, Deborah McHugh is, there is a change in position. It's not a new one. Two people switched positions. Thank you. Further questions? All in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed would say nay. Thank you. Thank you. On page BA11, a recommendation to approve the uh, extra duty department chairman of special assignments for the new school year as noted on item 85-96. So moved. Motion by Allen. BA11. Second. Second by Hill. Before we go any further, uh, just to double check here, uh, doctor, did we just miss BA10 number six here, transportation salaries? <laughs> yes, we did. Okay, we'll come back to that. Let's, because he never does that. Thank you. <laughs> I never do that. Not, not ever twice in one day. Not, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, we do have a motion and a second on the floor. Comments to the right, Mr. Allen. Any? To the left? I had one question, um, Judy, if I may. Um, I'm trying to find it. Um, we have experience levels, which I understand, zero to one years and zero to three, and then we have the groupings. What are the, what are the groupings for? Well, the groupings are, they're based on the, a number of different criteria which were in the packet that we gave you. They're based on uh, the number of students people work with, the num sometimes if it's department chairs, the number of teachers that they work with, the okay. number of buildings that they deal with. It's a whole host of, of items. And that's what determines what group they fall into. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed would say nay. Nay. Okay. Uh, please note that, Mrs. Canavan, there's one nay. We don't need a roll call. We're going to come back to, to six, but one question real quick. What, what are we doing? Back to May. No, 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 no. We're going to that now. Over here. And we don't need five votes. We had. We need five. We only have five people. Let's present. let's bring that back. I'm sorry. We need five Solicitor, votes. we need five votes, correct? What's this? This is this one. This is the duty. The motion on the floor. J seven. We need five votes. Do we know? Approval for for the list of people. Those right. those jobs. Okay, let's take a roll call on that motion. <coughs> Mrs. Mengo, I, I had one more thing. So I noticed that uh, under yearbook, North Penn High School, Kathleen Staley is listed twice. Mm -hmm. As yearbook advisor. <coughs> Ms. Uh, Ms. Ms. President. Mm -hmm. Vice President, uh, the solicitor reminds us that we need five votes for uh, uh, item number seven on personnel. The uh, list of uh, people who will receive extra extra right. compensation for additional jobs. Okay, well then let's take this around with a roll call after um, Dr. Miller answers Mr. Mosey's questions. One dash. Mr. Page, Mosey, page one. I can't. I, guess so. I will have to That's check, but uh, I think that must be a typographical error. She would I, only. She only needs to be listed once. I would think, but since yes. we're voting on it, it's going to be yes. part of the official yes. minutes of this meeting. Okay. I think we should make a, a note of uh, how we do that. It looks to me like it was just listed twice accidentally, but I, I would have to check. Do we need a motion to delete that, Mr. Slicker? Right. I'm, I'm sorry. I was focused on the other one. Now, what, what, what are we doing? On page one of the. The handout. There is an individual listed as a yearbook advisor. She's listed twice, and Mrs. Miller has said it's probably a typographical error, which I'm sure it is. But since these become part of the official minutes, must be correct. Should that be corrected here, or can we do that later? Just take, just take out one of them. Her name. Her name is in. Kat, Kathleen Staley. So in other words, it's typed twice. Yes, in the same. And the amounts were typed. I would just delete one. I think it's. We don't need a special motion. No, it would be clear that if it's just reprinted twice, that that would only be one. Point. Thank you. Okay, President Pro Tem's privilege. I want to ask the board to take a reconsideration of a matter. Mrs. Krieger, I believe that you voiced the no vote when the motion was put up verbally. Um, 
would you, uh, we need five votes then to pull this off this agenda, which would need your cooperation, uh, to pull this off and be reconsidered at another date for this reason. We have coaches that are out there on the fields as we speak, uh, coaching and doing their jobs as they anticipate they do every year this season. And um, we are down four board members. So uh, would you be willing to hold your no vote and we take this off the agenda so, uh, and place it on a future agenda? Well, I mean, once this is approved today, it's approved for the year. And there It's not going to be approved today, obviously. We don't have five votes. We don't have five votes. But I, what Can we, you, what is, what I'm is, asking that we pull it from the agenda. That's fine. Okay, that's the way it'll do. And it, would it be, um, would this, for the solicitor, would this be an appropriate matter to discuss perhaps at our executive session on Thursday evening? All right, and we're, we're back to uh, the list. Uh, the list matter of the extra duty assignments. And special assignments. Yes, coaches. Is it? Yes, it is. I would like to recommend that uh, we place it on that agenda as well, and be discussed to find it, and be um, prepared to finally have a discussion, an open uh, discussion um, between this board uh, on the issue of um, extra duty uh, department uh, uh, chairpersons and special assignments. I've been asking for a discussion um, since January. It hasn't happened for many reasons and, and reasons that I understand. But uh, I think that uh, um, I, I would like for this board to, to begin that discussion um, so that we have a, a better and clearer picture um, of exactly um, what, what we've got going here. Okay, Mrs. Krieger, we have an executive session Thursday night, and this will be added to the agenda, and I believe Dr. Bose has already noted that on his pad, and Board Secretary has done likewise. May I ask for clarification, please? On all of our personnel votes since Tom needed to leave the meeting, have we had five to zero on every vote? Yes, we have. Thank you. Okay. Personnel, just a comment. Uh, Isn't there a motion on the floor? No. no. There was a motion and a second and then a reconsideration for this to be pulled from the agenda. Can you just do that? After there's a motion on the floor? I believe by seeking consensus it, we all just did that. Is, well, did, did we have consensus? In other words, did, uh, did the, uh, the person who made the motion uh, agree to withdraw the motion? The motion and the Not second yet. were by who, Mrs. Cannon? The second was by Hill. And the motion was? The motion was to approve. It uh, was by who? Who made the moton uh, Mr. Allen and Mr. Hill said Mr. Allen, do you agree? What are the consequences if we vote on this tonight, or t this morning? <laughs> if, if, you vote, if you vote on it this morning and it, uh, and it fails, and, and, it, and it fails, I, I assume that the, uh, the motion may be rebrought at a, uh, at a subsequent time. It already uh, uh, That, uh, and I, excuse me, go ahead, can you please for me? Sorry. Go ahead, but I'm finished. Well, my, my position was I had no choice but to recommend it again, even if, right. if it were to Absolutely. fail by vote today, because these some of these people are already on the, job. On the job. And it's, it's an unfortunate of, message of, to those uh, who are liability working. and safety and everything connected with the kind of preseason activities that programs like extracurricular, particularly athletics, uh, provide in the school system. So if, if you can't uh, support it today, and you defeat it, I must recommend it again. And then it can be brought in a subsequent. I won't withdraw my motion. All right, so the motion is made and seconded, and you should vote on the motion and then, uh, and then proceed. If it, uh, if it receives uh, four votes, uh, then it does not have sufficient votes to pass, and it should be brought in a subsequent meeting if it is your desire and force desire to do that. Okay. Ms. Canavan, you know this is a matter of public record, and, and you're yes. taking all this in detail. Thank you. Okay, all in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Okay. The, the motion, the motion has not passed. It requires five votes under the. No, I understand. Uh, under, but didn't under we just take two votes on the same motion? No, we didn't. We had a motion and a second, and then the discussion. Out of the discussion came the. Mrs. Mangle, you identified that I was the. I heard your verbal. Yeah, you. Oh, that's your right. Question. It does. It does. That's how you knew that Excuse I was okay. on that. Okay. It doesn't matter. The motion's defeated. It was. It was uh, four votes to one. It does not okay. have five to pass. If you want to bring it, you bring it subsequent. Okay. Mrs. Mangle, from looking at the at the uh, agenda item, the first salaries are scheduled September 27th. So we have first to time. Land to to get that. Okay. Th thank, thank you for that note, Mr. Kelly. Uh, all right. Medical work. 
Well, just one other question. Do Dr. Miller, under we have already passed, but uh, BA-8, you have here a John Volusion, North Penn High School security as, as a hiring. Is that is, the, is that is the same? Is that the same, John Volusion from the Lansdale Police Department? Yes, ma'am. We are very fortunate to have his services. He's very pleased with our three new security people. They come with uh, great credentials. Uh, Marilyn, did we vote on uh, J8? No, we did not. Okay. 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 I, I, I would recommend uh, the topic we're just talking about is a, a list of uh, professional and support staff uh, uh, substitutes uh, for the new school year uh, listed on BA 14. I would mm -hmm. I'd, uh, point out also there's one on the addendum on page BAA 3, all of which are recommended for your approval. So moved. Second. Okay, motion by Mosey, second by Krieger. Comments to the right? There's just one one correction. Since this list was made, we this list was made, and we had also hired a few people on this list. If I could call your attention to BA 14 with the lists and B, um, both pages of BA 14, page one of four and page two of four. Mm -hmm. If you would look in the middle column, if you'll see the name Elizabeth Weir and take her out, she has since been hired. And also, if you could take out on the next page, on the second column, the second name, Lisa Kerensky. She appears twice on both pages. Okay. She is now hired, so we need to take her off the substitute list. Okay. All right, thank you, Dr. Mel. Comments then to the left, Mosey Krieger. Okay, just again, I will comment that we are fortunate to have the services of John Volusian, who has spent many, many years in the Lansdale Police Department. He is a known quantity and uh, element, and not only the community, but among the uh, teenage population. So uh, I don't know who hired him, but whoever did that was a coup. That was a real coup. So thank you all. Okay, we've got a motion and a second on the floor. All in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed would say nay. Thank you. I point your attention to page BA 11. We're now under other business with the recommendation that you approve the waiver of uh, Realty transfer tax on the parcels of land so noted, uh, all of, both of which were purchased by the North Wales Borough for open space use. So moved. Motion by Mosey, second by Hill. Comments to the right, Mr. Allen? <coughs> Left? Ask if it requires five votes. Uh, Mr. Solicitor, does this require five votes? Well, let me look at section 508 here for just a second. favor would say aye. Aye. Opposed would say nay. I abstain. The motion carries. Doctor, we need to come back to uh, the recommend, recommend approval of transportation salaries for 9697 right. on BA-10. <laughs> this is Thank you, Art, for your evil eye. <laughs> Bottom page BA-10. Uh, with your approval, all the bus drivers that we need next week would be employed. <laughs> and their salaries established. So moved. Second. We have a motion by Allen, a second by Mosey, and uh, let's see you play with this one. Let's see somebody vote no on no bus driver. Uh, any questions? All in favor would say aye. Aye. All opposed would say nay. Thank you. That's They're running. <laughs> They're running. Okay. <laughs> Doctor, back to other business. You are at uh, 5B. Recommendation B. Uh, is uh, your request that you approve the authorization uh, for a payment of two million three hundred fifty-two thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars to the Vocational Technical Center, uh, which will be, which is our share of the new uh, construction at that project, and will, re will be reimbursed to the general fund from our ninety-six bond fund. So okay. I have a motion by Allen. Do I have a second? Second. A second by Mosey. Questions to the right? Mr. I have Allen? a question. Mr. Hill. This $2 million you're talking about paying, obviously we got to pay it. 
uh, and obviously that money draws interest, but it sits in our account and not their account. Uh, do we have, can we, I assume you're going to make that payment when you have to make that payment. Right, Mr. Hill. Most of the districts. Every day that we keep it, uh, not that I want it, you know. We, we right. The other four districts have already made their, their contribution, nice. but I'll assure the board in, in our discussions at the Vote Tech. <laughs> yeah, good for them, right? Good for them. Nice. Our discussions at the Vote Tech, this, is being, this money is being put into a, a money market account, and the interest will be given back to us on the proportionate share that we contribute. So we will not be losing any money on, on the unused funds. We made that quite clear, all the business managers, that they just couldn't take that and, and our interest. We will get the interest back on that. And it shouldn't be missed that we have the lion's share payment, so we That's have the correct. largest investment. Mr. Mosey, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Quigger, any questions? Okay, all in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed would say nay. Thank you. My final recommendation is that you uh, approve uh, and accept the uh, uh, findings and recommendations of the audit uh, completed uh, uh, with uh, June, uh, June 30th for years 1993 and 1994, uh, a copy of which you've received and is on file in Mr. Kelly's office. So moved. We got a motion by Mosey. I need a second. Second. Second by Anna. <coughs> Comments to the left. Mosey. Great. Question, comment, Mr. whatever. Um, I was at the meeting when the, uh, the auditors gave their preliminary uh, report to us before it became official and if, if I remember one of the uh, recommendations from them was that we have some backup trained people in the student um, child accounting yes uh, I know that that's not the word but yes the child accounting <coughs> census taking that we have, and I wonder if anything's been done. We're interviewing today for a half time backup person. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Allen, does that answer your question? Yes. Mr. Hill? No question. All in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed would say nay. Thank you. Okay. Un under other business, uh, Mrs. Krieger, if you would be so kind because I'm sitting here and cannot make a motion. Would, would you be willing to do so, since you are willing to second, that a that Dr. Bose assign a task force to Judith Clark under her directorship uh, to study the feasibility of the North Penn School District returning uh, alternative education students into a program suitable for them in this district um, to be run and operated by this district, and that uh, Union President Jeff Jordan and myself as board members be assigned to that task force and uh, chair that opportunity. Sounds like a motion. Yes. Motion is stated so by moved. Mrs. Krieger. So is there a second? So second. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Uh, I'd also just like to um, remind you, Ms. Mangle, that uh, I am as well the liaison to student services and special ed in particular, so I also like to, to be a part of the task force. And that's an easy one. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Krieger. Any questions on this? Just to... Um, Mr. Mosey? Uh, yeah, I, I would just like to clarify that this will be a task force and, and not a committee. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Any questions to the right? Mm -hmm. All in favor would say aye. 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 All opposed would say nay. Thank you, all of you. Dr. Bose. <coughs> Dr. Bose, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Treasurer's report, Mr. Kelly. Thank you, Mrs. Mangle. Uh, for the month of July, which is also the beginning of our new fiscal year, so it will be for the month and year to date, we had receipts in the amount of $3,641,931.44. Disbursements for the month, uh, which also includes uh, accounts payable for the 95-96 fiscal year, in the amount of $4,365,812.64. Our investments uh, as of July 31st, six million five hundred and eighty thousand fifty-six dollars and forty-eight cents. That completes our report. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Would you continue? Uh, I recommend approval for the uh, disbursements for the month of July in the amount of five million one hundred twenty thousand three hundred thirty-three dollars and nine cents, and disbursements for the month of August in the amount of three hundred two thousand three hundred one dollars and thirteen cents for 1996-97 and $54,852.54 for 1995-96. So moved. 
We have a motion by Hill and we have a second by Mosey. Questions around? All in favor would say aye. Aye. Opposed would say nay. Thank you. Federal programs, Dr. Bose. No report. Okay, thank you. Uh, before adjournment, uh, I mentioned that we do have an executive session at 7 o'clock on Thursday evening. We have two matters of personnel that came up this evening, one on the fifth principal and that position, and also on the extra duty assignments uh, and activities. Uh, Dr. Bose, I know that you and various uh, staff officials here will be attending the, the funeral at Donabella Hill. Would you please be so kind as to, uh, on behalf of the board, extend our condolences and our prayers of, uh, for God's comfort to her, uh, to uh, the family. Okay, may I have a motion to adjourn, please? So moved. So moved. Second. Second. Thank you. Thank you.